everyone welcome to this update video i hope you're doing really fantastic now we'll be taking a look at what's happening across the atlantic and there we can see all that increase in moisture out to there off to the east of bermuda and well offshore the caribbean not seeing much really happening within the vicinity of the caribbean right now but uh, this is what i was talking about and what some models were showing potentially gathering some subtropical features but doesn't seem as though that's going to be happening so as i said last week i did anticipate this increase in all this moisture but as for development very very low on confidence in terms of that but there is another system that is moving through the u.s it has been producing severe weather across some areas a lot of rainfall damage and winds and even some instances of tornadoes now as we zoom into the caribbean as i said much is not happening just a few cloud clusters which may move by with some showers here and there and with that let's go on to the rainfall forecast and so here we are taking a look at it and uh, this is as we're going to be heading through the rest of today and into tomorrow morning around 3 a.m thereabout and we can see some of these colorful shadings indicating under an inch of rain for the most part so few passing showers possible in parts of jamaica also for eastern cuba hispaniola puerto rico the virgin islands and over in the lesser antilles for the guyanas things will be a bit on the drier side also the abc islands and most of venezuela and parts of colombia as well then as we head towards central america some showers will be possible, especially along uh, the Caribbean coast of some of the areas such as Panama, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, even for Honduras and parts of Belize as well. But for most areas, it's likely to be pretty sunny with uh, very limited rainfall activity. Same story as we head to uh, the Cayman Islands, most of the Bahamas and up to parts of Florida. However, it's been very windy across the region. Here we can see these dark purple shadings and these blues as well especially those darker blues offshore colombia some of uh, the strongest winds are found within that area so it's been very very windy across most caribbean islands the greater and lesser antilles even up to the bahamas as well and into parts of central america and uh, as we're going to be heading into the next couple of weeks here we're looking at the latest from the climate prediction center and we're focusing on week two now that is from uh, the week of the 6th of march up to the 12th of march and so here we can see these different shadings now the brown shadings indicate below average rainfall the darker the brown is the higher the chance of below average rain with the green is the opposite the green shade indicates above average rainfall and uh, those shades of yellows and that mustard indicate above average temperatures which means warmer than normal temperatures so for the caribbean over in some of the eastern islands puerto rico the virgin islands and even for the lesser antilles we're seeing some of those green shadings so there could be above average rainfall within the time frame again the week of the 6th to the 12th of march and then as we head over into the western caribbean we're seeing those brown shadings indicating below average rainfall so things may be a bit drier than normal within that area as well as for parts of the bahamas and turks and caicos islands and then for the southeastern U.S., we're seeing that green shade in. So maybe a 50% chance of rainfall or below. And then as we head over into Mexico, we're seeing the mustard and that pale yellow shade in as well. So above average temperatures, things may be a bit on the warmer side. Also for parts of Northeast South America, Venezuela, the Guyanas, especially for Guyana and Suriname. So there's likely to be below average rain and also those warmer than normal temperatures. So things are definitely going to be warming up again. We're in that dry season and this is the kind of weather to expect. There's not a whole lot of precipitation on a whole across parts of the tropical Atlantic. And so guys, that is pretty much what I wanted to share with you in this update video. And also there is some dust still loitering around some areas, but that should improve as the week goes on. Although there is still a lot to come and I'll be keeping you posted on all that is happening. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it to be very informative and if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond when I can and remember to always be weatherwise.